All right, guys, today I've got a stringing and review on the Tribe 7 Scepter 7 head. Uh, this is the latest head to come from Tribe 7, who uh, is a company known for doing things just a little bit differently. And um, it is the next head after the Ghost 7, which I did a review and a stringing for you guys. Uh, this head is a little bit different from the Ghost 7, but shares a lot of similarities. Um, and I definitely like this head more. It's definitely an improvement on the Ghost 7. So uh, I'll run you through what the head is all about. So this is the Scepter 7. Uh, it had, it weighs 3.95 ounces and let's see it only costs $43.50 for the unstrung head so about half of what you would spend on another head. Um, so it is a little bit different and a lot of the things that it does you can see the sidewall design here is kind of a W design a little more uh, support a little stiffer than the Ghost 7 was and uh, you can definitely feel just from uh, just from holding it that's a little bit stiffer. You can see the throat or the uh, the scoop here is very flat and it tapers down to being very flat so uh, this will help with ground balls a little bit get you a little lower to the ground. Uh, this is an X-Spec head so legal for all levels of play. You can see the face shape is actually very very nice. It's got the legal three inches down here uh, with a really good flare. The face shape is kind of reminiscent of the CEO. Um, so one of the downfalls of this head is the lack of stringing holes at the very top of the head. This top inch and a half or so um, does not have any stringing holes so it leaves you just a few options for your top string. You can see here I've got a Huron top string strung up so a dropped top string you could do an Iroquois as well uh, which I have a tutorial on. I'll be making a tutorial for you guys on the Huron. Uh, the Huron just has twice the strings and keeps it just a little bit tighter. So there's no real problem with this top string. It is a little bit more complicated to string, but it is unfortunate that there are no holes at the top. I know a lot of guys are going to miss that when they go to string it. As far as sidewall holes, uh, there are enough. There's not a ton. A lot of them are these uh, smaller triangle sidewall holes in between the big ones, which are less useful. You can't really get a string through them, unfortunately, but there are enough to string it uh, and string a good pocket. You can see here, I've got a mid pocket in it with a nice channel on this uh, this drop top string is actually going to give it a really smooth release. This is 15 millimeter East Coast Mesh. So I was able to string it with um, little to no problem because it does have that nice face shape and enough sidewall holes, not a ton. I did have trouble getting the string through a couple at the bottom here and I uh, do worry about kind of the stiffness with the, all these extra sidewall holes and it breaking. Um, and that's another thing is in the long term, these heads might tend to warp a little bit since they are a little thinner and they've got a little less support um, compared to something like a C-Channel Stallion or a C-Channel Proton Power. Um, and all heads warp over time, that's just a given. Uh, the Super Power warps very quickly and I would probably rate this um, sort of like the Super Power and then it'll warp some. Um, so that is a minus. It may not happen for everyone, uh, but to you guys especially it might warp a little bit. But I do know uh, that these heads are not very prone to breaking. We did that uh, torture test on the Ghost 7. I also know that these heads are pretty good for face-offs. If you're a face-off man looking for a good head to use in a game, or a good head to do some practice without breaking an expensive head, you can pick up a Ghost 7 or a Scepter 7 for very cheap, string it up, and use it in practice for face-offs. Uh, so you won't break your game head, you can save your, your original blade, your blade pros, uh, your emperor, your professor, whatever you're using for actual games. And I know um, uh, a couple MLL pros have used the Ghost 7 for practice for face-offs so they don't uh, break their precious original blades. So uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I think uh, that this head is a, a great value for the price. At $43, you're not going to find a better head on the market. Uh, it's not the highest quality head. But again, we're looking at value here, so price compared to quality. So you can buy two of these for the price of another head. So I would rate it as a very high value head. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more stringing videos and tutorials. Like this video if you liked it, and have a great day.